I guess this is a new episode at this point. Um, if I fail this, which it's the beginning of the game, I'm kind of rusty at this, so it's entirely possible I'm going to fail. I'll take the kind of bitch way out, but I'm going to try it the legit way at first, so let's dive right in, shall we? I think also we can loot that real quick, which, while I'm at it, I should probably combine one of these. Ugh. So neat, un untidy, dirty. Get used to this, by the way. They need to be neat and tidy. Hey, lady, what's up? Bang! Yeah. Well, oh shit, that didn't kill her. That killed her. Yeah, that's a wooden box. Oh shit. Guess I will take that, actually. Ah! <laughs> Who's behind me? Oh, no one, huh. I just couldn't deal. Ah, they're throwing shit at me. So, this part's pretty damn hectic. Ah, uh, I can't remember where the shotgun is. Oh shit, he's here. I if you can kill him, you get something sweet. Is the shotgun through here? Nah, it's just a barn. What am I doing? Still, though, nice funnel point. I think it is. Nah, I need to get in this house right here. I also don't know where he is. I hear him, though. Ah, shit, it's locked. That's not good. Shit, shit, shit. I don't want to be in this room. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. No! Frickin'... I also need... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I need to get out of here. Whatever, doesn't matter. Where's my inventory? Ah, there's gotta be... Can I not get to my inventory from my map, seriously? That's just dumb. Eh. Alright, I need the health. Ah, first of all. Uh, I should probably... Actually, I'll just use that one. Yeah, that's good. Shit. You know he's here somewhere. I need to find a better place to hold out. That was a mistake, going into the room with the locked door. Ah, crap, and I know he's here! I hear him. Okay. Activate a cutscene. That's good, at least. There he is. Crap. There's a shotgun somewhere in here, but I can't remember where it is for the life of me. That's good. I need to go upstairs. I'll loot this place through. Oh, hey, the shotgun. I'll loot this place thoroughly in a bit. Whee! Ow. Rude. First of all, I should knock that down. Harder to get me that way. Ah, crap, crap. Ah, shit. I am bad at this part. I've always been bad at this part. Ah, fucking... That's the worst, because I can get to the map from here. But they won't let me get to my fucking... Ah, oh, whatever. Not the treasures, for God's sakes. <sighs> Guess I'm using this. This is going poorly. Fucking... Kick him! Ooh, and take that ammo. Nice. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's bad. I need to move. <laughs> Dr. Salvador is making a house call. I'm also losing a ton of health. I need to get to the clock tower. This is going poorly. Oh, hey, an egg. I'll take that. Thank you. Yes, I'll take the chicken egg, for God's sakes. Up the clock tower. Okay. So they can't get you up here. By that, you know, you can't get them either, but, you know, hey. Well, I guess you can. 
maybe snipe a few of them, but it's not worth it. Hey, shotgun ammo. Ugh, oh, Jesus. Do I? That is gonna kill me, that I keep hitting triangle. And it's so stupid it won't let me just use the fucking... So anyways, yeah, they do throw Molotovs up here, as you can see. Which is gonna kill me, Jesus Christ. I think if I keep spamming this, it sort of flips the Molotovs out. Ugh. The point is, if I hang out here long enough... I also just jump down. Uh... That, that is straight up gonna kill me. And I should... Climb... Ah, it did kill me. Son of a bitch. That is embarrassing. So, the first time I played this, I hit up in the clock tower like a little bitch. And if you wait up there long enough, the bell rings. And they all go to church. Which is very good. But yeah, that is... Cabron. That is quite embarrassing that I died there immediately. The village is tough. And they threw Dr. Salvador right at me there. You saw that. He is an insta-kill if he gets his hands on you. Yeah, yeah, cabron this, cabron that. I had to get inside the one room much sooner. Oh, for... Who threw that? Really now? That is extremely rude. I am here trying to... Alright, is there... Some way to stop me from doing that? Because I, I feel as though I'm going to keep hitting triangle. And just only just going to end poorly for me. Uh, there's the chainsaw revving up. Yay! There we go. Yeah, okay, it's a wooden... Oh my god. Waste of ammo. Shotgun shells. So, this is... Oh, hey, barrel. Nice. It is apparently a prime spot to be, because... Oh, I can check here? What? There's a dirty bed here. It appears the stains of a person's blood. You can kind of just keep kicking open the door and it'll knock him over. So that's nice. Unfortunately, I seem to recall there being a way you can jump out of here, which I'm not seeing, so that's not good. Ah, they're in. Come on. Time it right. Bam! Oh, shit! That's just rude. It'd also help if I had the shotgun here. Alright, I'm gonna lose this again. Probably going to be an edit if I die again here. Just of me succeeding. I blame the YouTube factor, which if you don't know is a very, very intelligent factor that says when you're on camera you play worse than you actually do normally. Shove that closed. Eh. Yeah. Panic and run upstairs. Take the shotgun. Grab the ammo. Knock that down. Panic because you know there's a chainsaw guy right outside. Kick that ladder down. Oh, that went well. Wait, I need to know where Chainsaw Man is, like, at all times. So first of all, I'm gonna use the egg. Secondly, I'm gonna equip that bad boy. And go blam! Knock that down. There he is. Fuck off, chainsaw man. And you, woman without a chainsaw. You get a sweet treasure if you kill chainsaw man. Which is why I'm trying so hard to kill chainsaw man. This particular run. Ah! 
He's back up and ready. He's revving that bad boy. Now what? Have I killed enough of them? I've killed enough of them that they're angry at me. Oh god, there he is! He is right there. Okay. So first of all... Yeesh! So, very unfortunately for me, you can't do the thing you do in every Resident Evil game, which is reload in the inventory. That's extremely unfortunate. Secondly, I need to use the health. Which I feel as though I'm using too much health. Oh, he's right there. Are you kidding me? Jump down, jump down, jump down! Okay. Ah, the reload speed's so slow. Hello, Dr. Salvador. Can you stay dead? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, this would be a great time for... Ah, uh, that's hell spray. I thought it was a grenade. Damn. Shotgun shells are absolutely worth using if it is in the death ow, of Dr. Salvador. Yo! And bang! Nice. Hey, he died! Sweet. Oh. That's that, then. Well, all right then. Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler. No, don't run away from Salvador. You need his loot. I earned that loot. You all saw it. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Oh, bingo. <laughs> Leon, you silly boy. I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. So first of all, how dare they drag me away from my Lord Sa or Lord Sal Salvador Salazar, whatever it was, my Doctor Salvador loot. I earned that ten thousand dollars. That'll come in handy later. Secondly, we need to loot the town before we go anywhere. I should also equip my pistol. As I said, ammo's valuable, and using ammo on to kill Dr. Salvador is absolutely 100% allowed, because it grants you $10,000. It is not allowed for the killing of random civilians. That's a waste of perfectly good shotgun ammo. I say civilians, they are clearly trying to kill me, though, so... Can't open it. It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. So... I do believe... That... Bear with me while I loot the room. I do believe the tower... This is the tower and that the path is behind here. It is possible... I think if you stand right at the base of the ladder, the fire doesn't... Like, right here, the fire doesn't actually reach you. You just kind of reel back a bit and are like, ugh. But, uh... First of all, that doesn't hurt. Secondly, yeah, that's the path I think they want you to take. But loom rooting for now. They're just leaving all this free money around for me. It's very polite of them. There's several small items, nothing unusual. I forget anything in this room? No, I did not. Excellent. I know I forgot some stuff in the cutscene house. And the house next door to it over there. All those houses, really. <laughs> God, if only they had Leon boot technology. So yeah, that will end on its own, for those of you. Many small insects feasting on leftovers. Resident Evil 7 confirmed. Many, uh... 
I don't know why I started with many. It is entirely optional, first of all, killing Dr. Salvage out of door. And secondly, even putting up with... Oh, hey! Definitely the type I don't get along with. I didn't know there was a picture of him there. Foreshadowing. It's also ammo on the roof. Chimney ammo. But yeah, it's entirely optional to kill the Doctor. Uh, I think killing the Doctor ends the raid by itself. Uh, as, as I said, you can also just wait him out. At the top of the tower, there's nothing really stopping you from doing that. It, if you wait at the top of the tower, you need to wait a long time. It won't actually trigger. Water's awfully dirty. No way I'm drinking this. And I think if you, uh, if you kill the chickens, there's a chance they drop eggs, which, you know, are nice, but, eh. They're not necessary. Uh, can I not get in the barn? Ah, oh, they won't let you in the barn. They do in mercenaries mode, which is why I'm confused. That's interesting. Hmm. Anyways. So yeah, the cow's interesting. Hello, Mr. Cow. Or, I guess you're Mrs. Cow. I think if you kill the cow, you actually get something, but it's... If memory serves, it's not exactly worth it, so... Having almost looted the room, I seem to recall there being... something this way. Again, not the way to go. This place is locked up tight. Ah, flash grenade. Might have been useful, actually, in that, uh, that little scuffle. It won't open. Must be barred from the other side. Yeah, no opening that just yet. Anything to say about the, uh, officer? What in God's name. If only he'd come with me. Indeed. Poor man. But he had to make sure we didn't get parking tickets after all. That was important. <laughs> ah, I love these. Alert order. Recently, there has been information in the United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let the American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held... <laughs> Gee, thanks. Being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Chief Mendez. We'll meet him later. The Big Cheese, as some people refer to him as. Nothing in here, really? What a boring house. Thoroughly boring house. Anyways, things should go a lot smoother for a while now. Ah, yes, this place. Fun times were had here by me. Did I miss a save point or what? I'm actually looking at the map this time. Okay, no, there's a save point right there. Which I should hit before... I'll get this first. But then I'll save. You might think... Those Resident Evil 4 pros of you out there might think I'm a bit of a bitch saving at every opportunity I can, but eh. Call it paranoia. Ooh, eggs. I want those eggs. They only take up one space and they're good healing. Ooh, and the brown one too. Anyways, about the blue medallions. Fifteen, seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy ten or more will be awarded. The rest is Ill, 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 illegible. Fuck. I'm starting to turn into Kaida, my pronunciation of words. Yeah, you heard me. If you're watching this. And there we go. Oh, shockingly, that alerted some people. I'll get him. Ah! Who could have seen that coming? So, 
I always think that uh, there is like some sort of bonus prize for getting all 15 of them. There is not. It is only only worth it to get 10 of them. Anyways, if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't be able, when I shoot this treasure down, it would fall in the dirty water. It would be worth less. Not worthless, but, you know, worth less. More on that later, however. 